Coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. Out in front, get covered up. Down, Bella, down. Here we go, guys. That's a great. He's gonna come right up the channel here. Get out that, guys, get out that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Good shot. Boy, did that come good, huh? Ooh, that's a nice green head, actually. That's a green big head. old green head there. All right. Yeah. Hey, hey, here they come. Oh, it's a big drake in the back. Guys. Yeah. Got a big green head sailing over the top of this thing. <laughs> Coming in, guys. You guys be ready now. Oh, 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 oh. oh is that sweet? Awesome. Atta good boy. Shot, man. Yeah, that's early fall in the prairie. This looks pretty good here. Look at this pintail's gonna come right at us. <laughs> Might drop in here right now if you see that spread. There he comes. Look at that duck. Nice shot, Doug. Thank you. Yeah, when I saw he was a bull pintail, I thought, oh. I saw he had those pointy wings and I thought, that's different. This is like the story about the chicken and the pig, that the chicken is involved because it gives you eggs, but the pig is committed because he gives you bacon. <laughs> These ones that are coming are committed, huh? Southern Alberta marks the confluence of the Pacific and Central Flyaways. That gives guide and outfitter Cam Jensen of East Slope Adventures vast tracts of prime duck hunting territory. It's sitting right up against the East Slope of the Rocky Mountains. And I believe that it's probably uh, the most beautiful place on the planet to shoot waterfowl. You know, one of the neat things about this place is it's kind of right on the very southwestern edge of the prairie pothole region. And, and when this area is wet, it produces one heck of a lot of ducks. Well, I'll tell you, it keeps coming like that. I'll sit for as long as it takes. It's a pretty hunt. It's really not prairie country. It's a fascinating blend of Rocky Mountains, big agriculture, potholes, kind of a, a mixed area, but one of my favorite places to come and hunt ducks and geese is down in this part of the world. Whether pure prairie or not, this region of potholes, like much of the middle of Canada, represents one of the foremost waterfowl breeding areas in North America. With its unsurpassed mix of cover, water, and feed, it's ideal for growing ducks. Take right now, Doug. Take it. Awesome. Nice shot, Doug. Nice shot, Doug. A lifelong duck hunter, Doug Larson has guided on two continents, and he has translated his waterfowling adventures into two popular books. John Devney, Senior Vice President of Delta Waterfowl, is another hunter whose love of ducks dates back to childhood. My dad took me for the first time when I was four years old, and I don't care where you are, there's nothing that gets me more excited than seeing those ducks on that final approach. They're coming in. Here comes the flight. That looks serious, doesn't it? Cam Jensen is doing the guiding and calling for Doug and John, along with his irreplaceable partner, Bill. You know, the first morning Cam had us sent up in a little irrigation canal, and he'd been watching the ducks pile in there pretty well. That looks serious, doesn't it? Yeah, it's getting serious. They're coming in. Here comes the flight. Oh, this is looking pretty good out here. <laughs> here we go. This is a great here, John, right? If it's the same duck. You can get out that, guys. Nice shot, Doug. I could not resist after a while. Yesterday was such an odd day, and as they just started to come, a uh, big line of gray showers on the horizon, and it sort of cut our duck hunt short. One of the reasons I trust Cam so much is I've gotten to the stage where you'll come across some of these places that they don't look like the kind of place you would stop and even look for mallard ducks. And yesterday afternoon was absolutely the typical example. And we come to this low spot next to the road, and this thing, probably four or five acre marsh, surrounded by those thick bulrush tulies. And I said, I don't know, Cam, doesn't look like much of a duck spot to me. And Cam looked over at me and he gave me that big wide grin and he said, there were 3,000 ducks in here last night. <laughs> here we go. Coming back from behind us, John. It's gonna come over our heads from behind. Very nice drake in there. Atta boy. That was just too nice a decoy to not... Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty. Oh, if they work like that, we are going to be in 
fog heaven here. Here's four on, four top. on top. One big green head. Coming out, there's a drake on the yep. bottom, guys. Yep. Cupped up, cupped up. There we go. Oh, is that pretty? Yep. Out in front. Single in There's front. one right at us. I think right in front. Great. That's green right there, I think, Doug. <laughs> this is killable. Oh, nice. Cup it up, cup it up. Shake it, shake it. Nice shot. That was good. Behind us. Here's a green head from the right. There you go. Ooh. Hmm. That's my sweet spot right there. Like that Hemingway quote where the last one's as good as the first. Shooting flying. <laughs>up and up. up, up bottom front. Get out that quick. Oh, nice shot, Doug. You know, when you look at people that enjoy traveling to waterfowl hunt, the first stop for anyone who really enjoys hunting ducks and geese is Curry, Canada. The nice thing about being up here against the Rockies is their precipitation is a little more predictable. Cape Southern Alberta have been very, very dry. And driving down here from Calgary, we came across a prairie fire that looked like it started in a barley field. Well, wind's blowing 25, 30 miles an hour. As dry as all this grass and all this stubble is, it's a big tinderbox. This thing could travel up 5,000 acres before the sunset. Yeah. The smoke and ash rises into the air. Luckily for the duck hunters, that isn't the only thing that's filling the sky today. Some ducks, guys. The first pass is pretty grinderific. Okay, here comes some more, guys. Here's a green head from the right. Take him. That duck was dead before you. You think I got water. that one? Yeah, I think that one's fine. <laughs> and those ducks work really nice, but the real show was after dark. Look at the footage there. here. Oh, there's a drink. There's a drink. <laughs> Look at his pintails can come right at us. Oh. Redhead. How good is that? It's a spectacle, huh? That's a pretty good roost marsh, huh? Yeah. I think if you like steaks, you will like grilled mallard meat. You will not ever see me on the Food Channel, although fairly evident that I've eaten more than my share of ducks in my day. The ducks the hunters are enjoying tonight are the products of ancient events. When the last glaciers retreated from over the continent, they left behind both a layer of fertile soil and scoured out potholes throughout what is now southern Alberta, creating a perfect breeding environment for ducks. So in a very real sense, the hunters can thank the last ice age for the ducks they're about to enjoy on this final day of hunting in the prairie pothole region. You know, even if you scout it and you, and you look at it and you know those birds are there, it's, you're always rolling the dice. You don't know whether or not those birds will be back. We were able to get those final approach blinds in there and get them covered up good. And boy, I tell you, I think about the time the last decoy splashed, we had the first ducks in the air, and it was a show. That yeah, first one, the tail, guy. Here comes a pair. Right over the top. In front, in front. There that one's going to come right back around. Get out that quick. Nice job, there we guy. go. Oh, nice all right. Nice shot, Doug. I think they're both uh, green, nice too. Nice shooting, guy. Right Watch this one. <laughs> Up and down in there. Get out that quick. Nice. That's how we do it. My favorite way to see ducks. <laughs> Upside down in a dog's mouth. Over the top. Here we go. It's all green. <laughs> 
Alright, let's not jack around with this wad. No. Oh, Ooh, nice He's shot. That looked like it hurt. Right there, my friend. Get out there, quick. Oh, that's a nice, nice break. Okay, here comes some more, guys. Comes another one from behind us. Get out that quick. Nice shot. In the last couple of days, I don't think I saw John Devney miss a duck with that extreme of two. There's a green head. Get out that quick. Well, that, huh? Nice job, John Devney. Yeah, that was a good shot. Oh, man, this is good. Cup it up, cup it up. Take it. That was good. I never get tired of coming to Canada. I just I love the people, I love the land. When I see those ducks cup in, it's just one of those images that just froze it in your mind forever. boy. And, and there's nothing more fun than watching that last pass as those ducks burn over the decoys and knowing that you had them totally and completely fooled. Take him. That's how we do it. Oh man, this is good. Okay, watch these guys coming in. Get at him, guys. Good shot. Oh my goodness, look to the right here, Jeff. Let him come. Good shot. Right side. Nice big old rake, too. Yeah. Coming right down in here. Oh yeah. Well, look at this. Watch this. Get at him. Quick, quick. All right. There we go. Right behind but us. I hear him right at us. You ready? Yep. Here's one. Shoot. Nice shot. Watch out. Heads. Boy, did those come good, huh? <laughs> Holy crow. <laughs>
And that's going to be a tall task. There are a lot of challenges facing ducks. There's a lot of challenges facing duck hunting. But I think Delta has a real opportunity to make a difference and make the world a better place. Look at that. Wow, there's a big bunch. I tell you what, that this morning was exactly what the doctor ordered, though. And the doctors ordered the perfect prescription for duck hunters in southern Alberta.